We want to welcome you, all you high school basketball fans, to Metro East Sports broadcast coverage of the High School Basketball Game of the Week. Our games feature the best matchups in the highly competitive Mountain Conference. And tonight we're coming to you from Reynolds Raiders High School, the home of the Raiders, the big bad boys on the block. They got some big guys inside, and they're going to be facing off tonight against the Clackamas Cavaliers, who likes who has who likes to get up and down the court. They have a run and gun style, and uh, it'll be a contrasting situation tonight. Two teams that are looking to do two different things, and so it should be a pretty fun matchup for us. And I'm here with my partner Jr. Jr. How you doing, bud? Well, you know me. I'm always wonderful. I'm here at Reynolds High. School on a Friday night. Life doesn't get any better than this. I've got some fabulous music, one of the better high school bands I've heard at a basketball game, and we're in Troutdale or Reynolds at the gateway to the beautiful Columbia Gorge. Doesn't get any better than that. You're right, buddy, and we're expecting a really competitive Mountain Conference game here. Both teams um, looking for a win tonight. Both teams needing a win, so should be a pretty good dogfight, huh? I hope so. That's what we expect. Okay, we're going to take a break right now for the national anthem. I'm going to give you your starting lineups, and we'll be right back. Lead paint poisoning affects one million children today. If you're pregnant or have young children and your home was built before 1978, you could be at risk. Learn how to protect your family. To find your home's danger zones, the health effects, or just to find help, log on to leadfreekids.org. Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified, not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who take action are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making Home Affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now. All right, and welcome back to Reynolds High School, home of the Raiders, here in the Mountain Conference, getting ready for the tip-off, and here we go. It's up. Ball's out of bounds almost. Recovered by Clackamas, driving down the key. Block shot by the big man. Nice block, you hear the boos from the fans. They thought that was a clean block, JR. It was, it's, uh, I'll tell you what, the way this thing kicked off already, it's aggressive. We're gonna have a game tonight. We are definitely gonna have a game. You can feel the intensity in the crowd. The gym is rocking and it looks like it's gonna be one heck of a Mount Hood Conference game tonight. At the free throw line, we've got A.J. Davis. He's able to hit that first free throw and knock it down. Starting for Reynolds tonight, we've got Drew Eubanks, Cody Starr, A.J. Davis, Cole Anderson, and Dakota Ayala. Well, we got double zero Eubanks in for Reynolds, and he's standing there at six foot ten. Yeah. <laughs> and on the other side, we've got Elijah Gonzalez, Mitchell Fink, Drew Conway, Marcus Golder, and Bo Gunderson, starting for the Clackamas Cavaliers. Reynolds with the ball, getting in their offense. My goodness, I see number 32, Dakota Ayala at 6'7". I don't remember these young men that size when I was in high school. Big boys, I don't know boy. What these people eat anymore. That's right. Free throw line jumper there. That was Dakota Ayala with the miss. The Raiders able to corral the rebound and get back into their offense. Cody Starr with a step back jump shot, no good. Rebounded off to the Cavaliers, and they're fast breaking to the hole and to the glass. Two points. It's Mitchell Fink. 
And the visitor up four to zero. Inside to their big man, Eubanks, having trouble corralling the ball. Rebounded off to the Cavaliers, and they're off and running. They're running gun offense. They're looking to push it early and often. Nice baseline drive, shot no good. The big man definitely bothered that shot. Nice rebound again. That goes to Cody Starr, and he's off and running, trying to get the Cavaliers, trying to get the Raiders into their offense early. We've got a call down here low. The Raiders going inside, trying to use that height. But they're going to come up with an offensive foul, JR. I'll tell you what, for the first year for the Cavaliers in the Mount Hood Conference, they didn't leave anything in the dressing room. <laughs> That's right. That was Ayala picking up his first foul. You can see the height differential here. The Cavaliers a little bit undermanned in the height department, but they've got speed and quickness on their side. Nice looking jump shot there from the elbow. No good. Rebounded off to the Raiders, and they're off and running. Cody Starr looking real frisky with the dribble drive down the lane. He's going to get free throws on that. We talked to his coach earlier, and he said that's the one thing about Cody. You got to kind of live with what you get because he gets out of control sometimes, but he comes up with some incredible plays, JR. Great athletic talent. Well, you have to push the envelope or you don't increase in your talent. I would say play over once in a while and find out what you're capable of. That's you right. Back, it's like racing a car. If you don't spin out, you weren't driving fast enough. That's true, buddy. I tell you, we know Reynolds is going to play a tough man-to-man -to -man defense. They'll have a little bit of a pressure, but they're going to stick back and try to protect the paint. Nice block inside by the big boy Eubanks. Not in his house. Raiders looking to go to Eubanks. You got to feed the big man. Nice looking jump shot. And that three's gonna fall. Number 23 with the sweet jumper, Cole Anderson. We got a tie game, JR. That brings us to a tie game. And there, uh, there's the answer right there. Mitchell Fink having himself quite a start tonight. He's able to answer for the Cavaliers. I like that block off the boards that Eubanks did. That was a sweet block. He jammed that. He's not playing around inside. You're gonna have to watch out when you drive inside on, uh, on Reynolds. The Raiders in their offense, trying to work the ball around the perimeter. Nice dribble drive down the lane. Nice looking drive there by Cody Starr, the senior 6'1 guard. And you're going to hear his name a lot tonight because he is the engine to that offense for the Raiders. And I look at Clackamas between Golder and O'Brien. We're looking at two players at 6'4 and 6'8, respectively. That's definitely We're not right. Not with small boys. Here. No. And you can tell, you can tell by the energy level and the talent out there. There's some, uh, there's some guys out there that are going to be playing at the next level. They'll be going to play in college basketball. No doubt about that. Nice free throws there. Got a tie game here. Four minutes, 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. Nice dribble drive and kick to the corner. That three-pointer is off. Rebounded underneath by Starr, and he's on his horse. Turnover, though, back the other way. Nice-looking break there. The Cavaliers, and you know they love to get up and down the court, JR. The big man on the break. Oh, oh my. Oh, 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 my. my. Oh, my. That's how you answer. That is how you answer, JR. But well, we told you this game is going to be quite a tilt here. And Reynolds, they've had a couple of tough losses, JR. You know what the records are. You have them in front of you. Reynolds. Oh, my goodness. They've Reynolds been playing some tough ball. Six overall. Clackham is at 12 and 3, and that was hammer time. That energized the crowd right there, man. The big man showing you his athletic ability on the break, dunking in traffic. We got ourselves a game, buddy. He had a defensive man on him, and he put, took two Went hands right over the top. And almost tore the net off the rim. Yes, he did. Reynolds looking inside, trying to get back to their big men. Nice looking, sweet judge shot there by Eubanks, JR. He's showing you the whole package tonight. That's a nice touch. 
Raiders got a two-point lead here. Cavaliers trying to answer. Nice looking jumper from the wing. No good. Rebounded by the big man. The Raiders content to wait for their big man to come down and get in their offense. Ball over to the Cavaliers, and they're looking to move the ball up quick. Nice open jump shot there from the wing for the Cavaliers. We're going to have a timeout. That was Bo Gunderson, the junior wing player. On my team. If I had you banks on my team, that's the kind of a young man I'd say, look, I'm not going to coach you. Just play free, do what you want to. I'm just glad I'm coaching you. That's true. You can't go wrong with that kind of talent, you man. You can't teach people yeah. that. You don't have to, you don't have to teach 6'8. 6'10. Nice looking jumper from the outside. That's no good. Rebound off to the Cavaliers, and they're off and running, trying to get into their offense early. They want to keep it and push the ball and keep it up tempo. Nice quick move. Oh my god. Mitchell goodness. Fink. My, 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 that was beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna have ourselves quite a game tonight. You can tell and you can feel it. Like I said, the energy level is high. The spin and roll by the big man. Eubanks. And we have the turnover. That ball's gonna stay down here. Reynolds Raiders. They get the ball back trying to add to their lead. Clackham is 10, Reynolds 12, 2.36 to go here in the first quarter. Nice looking jump shot, but that's off. Able to corral the offensive rebound and start their offense back up again. Got the high pick and roll. Eubanks on the roll, they didn't catch him. He was open for a second. Reynolds goes back inside again. Ooh. Bang! The big man, Eubanks, with the delivery. Nothing special, nothing, nothing different about that. Just big man, big boy play. That's a big man game right there. I'm speechless. I hate to admit that. <laughs> I tell you, JR, nothing you can do about that. You just try to keep yourself out of the picture so you don't get posterized. Nice rebound. And off and running with a lob dunk. Oh my, oh my. I don't know if Clackamas has seen a big man like this all season long. I tell you, this kid came to play tonight, JR. Was that a setup or not? Out on the defensive play, he tried to change that shot, and he did. Dribble drive down the lane, and their own version of the lob. Inside, that was a beautiful pass by Mitchell Fink with the finish. Marcus Golder. Don't know if they're going to count that, but I tell you one thing, that was a nice answer. Their own version of the lob. Lob City here tonight. Great game here at Reynolds High School. Marcus Golder responded. He that did. was his answer with a one hand pick and jam. That was a sweet answer. Cavaliers working it outside. Defensive pressure inside, and we're going to get a foul here on number 23 for the Cavaliers. That's Marcus Golder trying to block that shot inside. It was a way to attack the ball there. Number 25. You got Matt O'Brien at the line. And he finishes there with a nice, sweet looking jump shot there. Free throw. Now, O'Brien is 6'8, too. That's their version of uh, the big man versus Eubanks. Six out. He's out taking a break right now. That's right. He's 6'8, and he's only a freshman. So look out for the Cavaliers here in the future. You had a big 6'8 freshman there in Golder. The Raiders working the ball around. That's tipped out of bounds. It's going to stay on this side of the court. Side out to the Raiders. Tell you, JR, we got some good looking ball players here tonight. I'm impressed. Definitely impressed. 
I knew it was going to be exciting, but uh, <laughs> at this point, <laughs> yeah, exceeded we, my expectations. I tell you, this is what and you my see. My expectations weren't negative. That's right. And you see, this is the kind of shots and dunks you see at a Blazer game. These are pro-style dunks, college-style dunks. I tell you, fun to watch here. Well, what I've just seen, I don't need to watch the Blazers. I tell you one thing, this Mountain Conference is stacked from top to bottom. Both these teams coming off of losses. Tuesday and so you know I tell you you can expect to see some real fun games here coming up here got some great teams coming up for you here Metro East Sports broadcast of the game of the week that's the uh, Reynolds went up against Gresham last game Clackamas was up against Centennial and I think they both came off with wins didn't they was that wins as yes, there was they wins I guess wins. so they came in here both hopping and popping The Raiders able to move the ball around the perimeter. Dribble drive down underneath, just off. Clackamas into the forecourt quick. Looking for their big man, and he delivers. Nice looking shot there, nice pass inside. Matt O'Brien, the freshman 6'8 point postman, able to put that one in. We're down to five seconds, they're counting it out. Nice looking, he doesn't see the clock. And they don't get it off in time. That ball's going to be off to the side. It would have counted anyway. And we got one heck of a game going here, JR. And right now we have the Raiders up 16 to 13 over the visiting Cavaliers. And we're going to take a break here. And with the hot action here, the Mount Hood Conference. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. And we are back here at the home of the Reynolds Raiders. And we got one heck of a high school game going on here. Our game of the week for Metro East. And uh, what can I say, JR? This is fun. You can say about as much as I can. I'm, <laughs> I'm tongue tied right now. I think I'm watching an NBA game. That's right. I'm a little stunned. I mean, really, I wish we had some replays and highlights of some of the first quarter action because it was fast and it was furious. Both teams with their version of Lob City able to get the lob over and under and uh, and deliver. Well, with Golder and O'Brien for Clackamas, and I'm watching Eubanks and the setups for him, this is a battle. This is an absolute battle. The talent is has no words. There's no words to say to describe it. The Raiders take the ball out here, half court. They got their big man back in the game. Their Twin Towers, their version of the Twin Towers. They're working the ball around the perimeter. Star has it. He thought about that jump shot, decided to drive inside. And they go inside to their big man. Pick and pop outside. Nice looking jump shot there from inside the three point line. No good. Cavaliers off to the races on the fast break. Nice dish inside. Mitchell Fink is having himself a real, real strong point guard game tonight. Looking inside for his players and finding them on the fast break. We've got a little scrummish going on underneath. <laughs> the fellas getting a little frisky there. That was Dakota Ayala. Now Drew Conway came in out of nowhere and put two down for Clackamas. We've got a nice tight game here. The visitors down by one to the Raiders, 15 to 16. Nice inbounds play to their big man. He spins, goes inside, no good, just off the rim. Cavaliers looking to run. Nice penetration. Turnover there, though. That pass just a little bit off. The Raiders attacking. They look outside the star. In, out, and back in. Nice looking jump shot there by Cody Starr. Beautiful, big Senior three. guard having himself a night. And there's the answer right back in your face, Mitchell Fink. He's having a game too, boy. This is like a heavyweight uh, boxing match. Starr got away with the offensive foul there. 
The Raiders working around the perimeter. Going inside of their big man. He kicks it out to the front, to the point guard. Nice movement on the offense. They're patient. Start with the back down. And there's a reach-in foul right there. Mitchell Fink. He didn't think he got him, but it looks like he got him on the wrist there. Uh, Eubanks whistled for a walking. What? Ball coming the other way. Wow. So there's a turnover there, unsuspecting turnover, and the ball's going to go back over to the Cavaliers. Six minutes to go here in the second quarter. You got a score of 19 to 18. Raiders ahead. They're working around the perimeter. That shot doesn't fall. Nice interior pass. Almost blocked shot there by Eubanks. Too late. That was Montero Spears able to get it inside over the big man. Score. Got a little confusion here. A little war going on between <laughs> Eubanks and O'Brien. The Cavalier coach, he's holding on to the ball, having a few words with the referee. They had a little grab push going on with Eubanks and O'Brien. That's right. In the paint. And the, uh, the referees are trying to settle them down. It's going to be ball out underneath to the Raiders. Running their out of bounds play. They get it in pretty easily. Nice dribble drive, hesitation move. That's a block underneath. But we're going to get a free throws out of this one. Cody Starr able to get to the to the hoop and get the foul. He's going to be at the line for two. That was actually good defense there by Drew Conway, the senior, the 6'2 senior guard. Yeah, we have ourselves quite a matchup here tonight, buddy. This one looks like it's definitely going to go down to the wire. Free throws there, Star able to hit the first one. We've got ourselves a tie game here, 534 to go in the second quarter. Star again delivers on that free throw. Pushes his team up by one. Clackman's getting in their offense. They got a baseline drive. Not able to finish there. That was contested. The Raiders settling down, pulling the ball out and working their offense, trying to get inside. They look inside to the big man. Nice over the top block. My, my, my. That was a nice looking block there by Marcus Golder. That kid has some hops, JR. He's not intimidated by the big front line of the, of the Raiders. And you see there's a little bit of talking going on there. A little chippy chip chip. A lot of chip <laughs> we love to see this kind of action here. These boys are into this game. I tell you one thing, and whoever comes out with the win is going to deserve it. The give and go underneath. Moving the ball around the perimeter. Nice drive inside. Kick for the three-point shot. Nice, McKenna. <laughs> Nothing nice. but the net. That was Matt O'Brien with the shot, and we're going to have a timeout here. These boys are going at it. The score is 21 for the Raiders, 22 for the Cavaliers. We'll be right back here with more high school basketball action. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. Let's catch them before it's too late. To start helping students in your community, visit boostup.org. And we are back here at Reynolds Raiders, the high school home of the Raiders. And they're facing off tonight against a real up and coming tough, their first time into this conference. And this is the first time they played here, the, Cle the Cleveland Cavaliers. <laughs> The Clackamas Cavaliers, of course. 
I'm back. Clackamas first year in the league here in the Mount Hood Conference. I yeah. understand they came in from the Three Rivers. Okay, they came in from the Three Rivers. That's right. And that's a tough conference too. But I tell you one thing: this Mount Hood, this Mount Hood Conference from top to bottom this year is stacked. You never know right now who's going to win. And I talked to the Cav excuse me, to the Raider coach, and he had that same sentiment. He said, you know, they had a couple tough losses and they had a couple close wins. But he goes, right now, no one's the favorite. David Douglas, Central Catholic, right now are looking good, but. These two teams right here, I think they can knock anybody off, Jr. Well, even going back to 4A, 4A is a, a lot of good talent. 5A, 6A, uh, witness tonight. Clackamas coming in. Uh, I don't think there are any weak teams anywhere in the state. That's right. Seriously, there's a lot of talent in Oregon. Well, that was Drew Conway there with the jump shot. He hit the three. The 6'2 senior guard. The Raiders are down by three. 22 to 25. Nice drive out top and kicked. Star has it. Shake and bake. Goes for the three, no good. Rebounded off to the Cavaliers. Turnover there. Both teams looking at each other, looking at the umpire, the referee, excuse me. And that ball's going to stay here. Ball out front, Star has it, directing traffic. Nice pass over to the big man, a little bit out of his range. But they work it inside to the other twin tower. Ayala able to finish underneath on the nice sweet dime. Bring his team to within one. Clackham is moving the ball in their offense, their motion offense, and they look for the three-point shot, and that is nothing but the net. That's a wet, wet jump shot right there, as the kids call it. He drew rain on that sweet jumper. Puts his team up 28 to 24 with a four-point lead. And there's a turnover, unforced error there, trying to hit the big man underneath. Clackman's in their offense working around the perimeter. They're not shy about shooting threes. And like I said, they toss one up, and that was short. Ball out of bounds underneath. And there might be a call on that play. There was a little bit of contact. And the referee did see that contact. That ball's going to stay here on this end. The Cavaliers with the ball under their own basket. And we're going to have a timeout here. The Cavs want to talk it over, and we're going to take a break here in the action here at Reynolds Raiders High School. We'll be back in two. You're on your way to meet up with friends, but you can't seem to get anywhere quickly. You don't want your friends to be annoyed, so you text. You're on your way. Five seconds is the average time your eyes are off the road while texting while driving. Make sure you get where you're going. And we are back here at the home of the Reynolds Raiders. Two minutes, 32 seconds to go in the second period. The Raiders are down 24 to 28 to the visiting Clackamas Cavaliers and we're having one barn burner of a game. Clackamas with the ball underneath, run their out of bounds play to see if they can get a basket off of this. And we're going to have a push here on 32. That's on Spears. Dakota Ayala, Ayala, Ayala standing at 6 7. Excuse me, Ayala. My Cole mistake. Gunderson, Clackamas. Doesn't have any problem shooting over him. That's right. He's put a couple in without hitting any rim. So the competition is here. Talents. Nice drive himself. down the key in the dish. Inside. The big man wasn't ready for that, but they get the loose ball and they get an open opportunity three. That's off. Another offensive rebound. Tough inside play. Clackham is hitting the offensive boards. That's Marcus Golder, and he's having himself a game showing that he came to play tonight with the big boys. He's not intimidated at all by this big front line of the Reynolds Raiders. 
Cody Star with the ball on top. They pass it around the perimeter, looking inside of their big man. He's going to have to score. They need a basket. He's been quiet here for the last couple minutes. That ball's rebounded by Clackamas, thrown off the leg of one of the Raiders players, and it's going to go back over to the Clackamas Cavaliers. And they have a six-point lead here, trying to add to it. Nice play inside with the stop and go. Little but the big slide. man, yeah, he changed that shot, didn't he? Little slide, little yeah. slide, we got to travel. That's the one thing when you have a 6'8 big man down beneath, if you get beat on the baseline, you know you got some help, and he's going to change that shot, and that's just what happened. Reynolds, Reynolds bringing up the ball slow and deliberately. And that's what happens. Didn't take care of the ball. He's lucky on that one. Star lackadaisical with that pass. Back the other way, though. Nice jump shot. It looked good, but it was off. Air ball. Boy, we have some activity under the, under the hoop. Uh, it's fast and furious right now, buddy. Clackham was able to come up with that defensive rebound. And they're going to get free throws out of this. They're into the penalty. The Raiders have 17 fouls. Clackamas only has three. Oh, and that's off. Can ill afford to miss those free throws when you're on the road. You need every point you can get, JR. Eubanks up over the rim for the rebound. Start with the dribble drive outside. They're trying to double team the big man, which he usually gets as a double team. He short armed that jump shot. And there's a fight for the ball. Man, that was a flash right there. Elijah Gonzalez. Elijah Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez with a quick pick up and that score. Young man moves. He made it happen. You keep an eye on him. I tell you one thing, he's got quicks, buddy. Elijah Gonzalez standing there at five foot eight. They go inside and they work inside out. They're working around the perimeter here. The big man with the over and under. It looked like a foul and they definitely are gonna get that one. Nice looking move there. Good footwork there by Eubanks to draw the foul. And that foul is gonna go on Marcus Golder. The 6'4 senior is having himself, like I said, a quite an offensive and defensive game. Both ends he came to play tonight. And he is able to hit that first free throw. We got the subs coming in here for Clackamas. Matt O'Brien goes to the bench. He had himself a good stint out there while he was playing. And we're down here to 19 seconds to go here in the second quarter. 32, Clackamas 25, Reynolds. And they're going to work it down here for the last shot. Mitchell Fink gets a high pick up top. He's going to go for the three-point shot. And he delivers, buddy. Nice shot there on the pick and pop. Able to hit the three-pointer here right at the end of the first out of the second quarter and extend that lead to 10 here, 25 to 35. And the visiting Clackamas Cavaliers have to feel good about themselves going here at ha going in at halftime with the big 10-point lead. And we're going to take a break here and be right back with some halftime highlights and action. You're on your way to meet up with friends, but you can't seem to get anywhere quickly. You don't want your friends to be annoyed, so you text. You're on your way. Five seconds is the average time your eyes are off the road while texting while driving. Make sure you get where you're going. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. In 1977, an eight-year-old boy picked up the game of golf from his father. 
the odds of that same boy then making it to the US and European pro golf tours, one in seven million. The odds of the Big Easy winning the US Open twice, one in 1.2 billion. The odds of him having a child diagnosed with autism, one in 88. Ernie Els encourages you to learn the signs of autism. All right, fans, welcome back here to Reynolds High School, home of the Raiders. We're here at halftime, and the score here is 25 to 35. The visitors are up, Clackamas Cavaliers, having themselves quite a game. And I tell you one thing, JR, it started off like a barn burner. Both teams came out playing tough defense, fast breaking. And the one thing we saw was neither team was afraid to go inside. Both teams had multiple dunks, oh, which you don't inside. see in a high school game. <laughs> yeah, they weren't afraid to go inside. You usually see more three-pointers. So how do you think the old, uh, how do you think Reynolds responded? How do you think their game looked in the first half here? Well, I haven't seen any weak players on the part of Reynolds. Uh, there may be a little difference, differential in the score, but Eubanks made a statement. Star, Andreessen, these kids hustle, they work together. And they come in here with a 9-6 overall record. They came off a win the last week against Gresham, 63-47. I would hate to predict this game, but I am totally impressed with Reynolds. And I also know the coach. <laughs> Grew up with my son, Mr. Ted Oven. All right. First year here. And he must have fallen into some great players. Uh, being here a year, he's got to have a big smile on his face. Uh, Reynolds has a great future for the rest of the season. But I'm watching these kids pass, hammer the ball down, reject. They've got great teamwork. And so the score, again, as we spoke earlier, the score is not indicative of the talent. We've got one heck of a game go. I feel like I'm watching an NBA game, for my goodness sakes. Uh, these kids are good. So the outcome of the game, I would not predict. I would not bet on it. I'll go play in the band. That's right, buddy. Well, I'll tell you, that band sounded pretty good. Well, and tell me something about Clackamas. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Clackamas Cavaliers, I'm totally impressed with the way they came out. Uh, the first two plays, Reynolds went inside, had two monster dunks by Eubanks, and you would think that that would make a team intimidated. Clackamas came right back down and answered with their own version of Lob City. They were able to get two dunks of their own, and one, I'd have to say the guy... He was head and shoulders above. He had his feet almost on the top of the head of the defensive player, and that was definitely a poster size dunk. And you love to see that. These young kids not getting intimidated, the back and forth, tough play, inside play, not settling for the jumpers. I am, like I said, completely impressed with Clackamas. Their guard, Mitchell Fink, the uh, senior, he's a junior guard. The guy has quickness, he has charisma <laughs> and he's not he's just fearless he went inside throwing lob passes playing defense on both ends he was hitting his three-point shot and his ball handling skills are impeccable and I tell you if they play like they're playing right now they might have a, a upset win here against Reynolds at home and I, I wouldn't have said that starting the game out and looking at the height advantage that Reynolds has Clackamas has nothing to worry about because they have a lot of heart and they're playing with heart tonight as they're up 25 to 35 here at halftime. Well, I'm, I'm impressed totally with Elijah Gonzalez. And then uh, you, you had Golder in there and O'Brien. And my man <laughs> on your side, <laughs> Mr. Bo Gunderson, yeah. has been knocking him down. He's afraid of nothing. That's true. Yeah, Marcus Golder. Actually, uh, he's the bad man. He's a Robin to the Batman out there. He had himself quite a game. Like I said, he had two dunks, multiple blocks. Um, probably had five or six offensive rebounds. Not intimidated at all. And so, I tell you, the Raiders have their hands full. I think they thought they were going to come out and maybe have their way and impose their will on Clackamas, but Clackamas hasn't backed down one bit. And I look for more of the same in the second half, JR. Reynolds is a defensive team, but yeah. they, they have not stymied Clackamas. Not at all. Whatsoever. Not at all. Well, Defense I'll tell you, man to man and press when they have to. Well, but the, uh, I'm impressed with Clackamas. Yeah. 
Definitely. Well, the fans have to be happy with this kind of game. And we've been doing high school basketball here for a few years, and I don't think I've seen really such an explosive start to a basketball game, especially a high school basketball game, since I've been doing broadcasting. So it's fun for both of us, and it's fun for the fans. And all I can say is I can't wait to the, to the second half. And I would like to say something about Dakota Ayala. Very impressive young man. Yeah, definitely he's having himself quite a game too. Really, there's a lot of role players tonight that are coming out and uh, showing they have skills too besides the stars. The guys you expect, Star and Eubanks, of course, we know those are two guys that you expect to really come out and play well, but the, the, the supporting cast for both these teams have had themselves quite a game. So we expect a lot more of this in the second half. And we're going to take a break right now real quick and come back with a little bit more um, breakdown of the well, first half. you get it right on the head, Jerry. The supporting cast. That's right. That's right. All right. We'll be back in two. Get your yes, I You're not in here. Yes, I am. <laughs> No, 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 no. Every day, kids witness bullying. Why are you stabbing me with it? No, no. They want to help, no. but don't know how. Oh, you got Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. And we're back here in the Mount Hood Conference, competitive Mount Hood Conference, I should say, at the home of the Reynolds Raiders. And we got ourselves quite a high school basketball game tonight, as I mentioned. The Raiders are down, surprisingly, at home, 25 to 35, to the upstart run and gun Clackamas Cavaliers, who have put on quite a show here tonight for the fans. For really, the, the, they're a visiting team coming in here and performing like this. My kudos and hats off to their coach and their players because they haven't backed down one bit, JR. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. And even with Reynolds at their 9 and 6 overall, you got Clackamas in there, comes in with a 12 and 3. Both came off wins last week that we mentioned earlier against two good teams at Gresham and Centennial. Uh, who knows what the future holds? Yeah. This is going to be a tough game tonight. It is. And both teams really need a win right now. You say they were both coming off of wins, right, JR? But this, this doesn't get easy, easier in the schedule. They both have David Douglas and Central Catholic who are probably the cream or the crop of the league. And you can't discount Barlow, because we covered Barlow already this year, and we know what those boys over at Barlow can do and how they bring it. So, I don't know. In this conference, it's anybody's game. It really well, is. You're absolutely right. Reynolds going against Barlow. And then we've got the Cavaliers that are going against David Douglas. And none of these teams are weak. Yeah. Yeah, they're not. And so we know we got some great Mountain Hood Conference games coming up with our Friday night game of the week. So we're just excited here, like I said, to be here in a tough matchup. And the Raiders find themselves down by 10 here at halftime. I know they're a little surprised, but I'm sure they went in at halftime. They're going to regroup. Their coach is going to pump them up. And they're going to have to really do it on the defensive end, JR. They're a defensive team, and we expect to see a defensive presence out of Reynolds. But we've really seen more defense out of uh, Clackamas. They've had their way really stopping the big man down underneath. They haven't been dominated. They haven't been intimidated. And they came to play tonight. And so I expect to see more. And the way they start out here in the second half, it's really up to Reynolds to kind of change the tempo of the game and get themselves back in because they can't afford to fall too far behind this team here. Clackamas is no joke. Eubanks made a statement. And what's nice to see is Clackamas has a handful of players and said, aha, uh -huh. okay, <laughs> you haven't seen me yet. That's right, buddy. And Ayala came out and made a statement, and uh, I don't know about the game of the week. Could be a misnomer. Might be the game of the season. <laughs> but it I could guess we'll be. have to wait till the end of the year to see. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, we've got here just a few seconds left here at halftime, and we're going to take a quick break and be back here with the start of the third quarter. A full life measured in seats starts with the right ones early on. Car crashes are the number one killer of children 1 through 13. Learn how to prevent deaths and injuries by using the right car seat for your child's age and size. And we are back here 
at Reynolds High School, home of the Raiders. And they're down, like I mentioned earlier, 25 to 35 to the upstart running gun, Clackamas Cavaliers. Great fun action here, JR. We're looking for more in the second half. Clackamas with the ball out top. Starting to get into their offense. Nice looking jump shot to start the game out. And we get the and we get the mile house mile high salute there. Number 23. Mr. Marcus Golder. That's right. Number 23 on your roster is number one in your heart. Marcus Golder with the jump shot to start the game out. And the Raiders go inside to Eubanks, and he's unable to finish. He's going to have to take his time inside when he gets that shot. Nice fake inside. Gets Eubanks to, to uh, jump on that and unable to finish. Eubanks with the wing pass down to the corner. And the other Drop twin that. tower delivers that they're going to need more of that. Dakota Ayala. The other half of those Twin Towers able to hit that jumper and right back on the offensive in here with the lob inside. Nice fake, pump fake inside. Ayala, he's got two big, quick buckets to start the second half out. And it's 38 to 29. Clackman still with the lead. Baseline drive. Nice move and oh my. There's your boy right there. Mr. Marcus Scholder on the follow-up. <laughs> I tell you, this kid definitely is going to be able to play on the next level. Keeps finishing the ball with that kind of intensity and veracity. We've got a trap up here high. Star lost his dribble, but he finds his big man down beneath. And there's going to be an and one right there. He wasn't able to finish the basket, but he is going to be able to get free throws out of that. And I can tell you one thing right now, JR, just by the look on the faces of the uh, Reynolds Raiders, they, they seem stunned. They, they really don't seem to understand what's going on out there because they know they have a height advantage, but they haven't been able to really take advantage of it. Well, Clackamas has got a lot of hustle, a lot of heart. And uh, first year in the league, I think they came in with something to prove. And let's face it, with a 12 and three record, this is not an accident. <laughs> well, Eubanks is able to answer with two free throws and cut into that lead. He cuts it down to nine. Nice looking jump shot, but it's short. The big man bothered it. We got a mismatch underneath if they can find him, and they do find him. The big man with the defensive play, he got out on the fast break and was able to post up low on the Brock and get himself a quick, easy two down there. Ayala. 6'7", he's not a little guy. You get him down on the block and you're going to get good things happening. There's a nice dribble and step back jumper. Kind of a forced jump shot there. Clackamas, I mean, excuse me, Riddle's able to answer with that jump shot and cut into the lead. Five-point lead now. That was Shandrit Jashari. Nice-looking shot by the young man. He's been kind of quiet here the first half, but we know he has some offensive skills uh, from the time we covered him last year here. Shandrik. Got a five-point game. Raiders have the ball. They can cut it to. They can cut it to at least three. Start with the ball up top. Looks to the baseline and they feed their big man with the kick out. Had the open jumper, decided not to take it and then he took it. Nice jump shot there. Shandrick, just sorry with his second basket of the game. And there's the answer right back in your face. Gunderson came back and said, watch this and dropped the clean three just before he went on his backside on the floor. Nice looking shot there by Gunderson. 6'2 junior, he's going to be back next year. 
And we have a timeout here in the action with the Reynolds Raiders down 37 to 42 to the visiting Clackamas Cavaliers. We'll be right back with more Mount Hood Conference action. When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified, not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who take action are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making home affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now. And we're back here at Reynolds High School. We got a hot Mount Hood Conference game going here, JR. It's 37 for the Reynolds Raiders, 42 for the visiting Clackamas Cavaliers. Four minutes to go here in the third quarter. And uh, it's, things are just heating up, buddy. Nice outside pass there by the Cavaliers. They're working around the perimeter, unable to hit that three-point jump shot. Rebound goes to the Raiders. They got a chance here to cut into this lead. The big man comes out to get the pass. He delivers it to the corner. That shot's off, though, but they're able to corral the rebound underneath. Dakota Ayala is having himself a good game on the boards tonight. He has at least four or five offensive rebounds, a couple of putbacks, and he was able to corral that rebound and keep possession for his team. Out of bounds up top. They're looking inside. Nice entry pass. That's money. That's all day money right there, JR, the big well, that, fella. That was big time stuff. Yeah. There's nothing you can do when he gets it that close in the paint. Nice baseline drive and dish. The kick for the three point shot. And there's our boy with the delivery, Mitchell Fink. Starting to warm up here in the second half. Ayala has it outside. He thinks about it. Good, good thought right there, JR. Keep thinking like that. Ayala delivers with the elbow jump shot. Clackamas with a three point attempt. No good. Eubanks bothered that jump shot. He jumped out at him. It's hard to shoot over a 6 8. Big man. Big boys working it back and forth. Oh, and that one's off. Tough shot, tough luck for the big man. It looked good all the way down. Fast break opportunity there. No good for the Cavaliers. Rebounded to the Raiders. Cody Starr with the behind the back dribble. Looking for some penetration. They go down low to the big man. No good. Tip no good. Rebound. And he's gonna get fouled. He didn't like that foul, JR. He didn't like that at all. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot of activity right there. Yeah, we like to see it like that. They're getting a little chippy down low. And you know, big fellas, that's one thing. You don't bring the ball down below your waist because us little guys are definitely going to swat at it. And that's what happened down low. But he got a lot of arm. And uh, Eubanks really wasn't feeling that. Almost put it back up on the backhand. Well, he's going to get free throws out of that. Is this what we call the free free part of the game, the free game? It's supposed to be free, and he makes him pay. Eubanks got substitutions coming in right now for the Raiders. Jordan May, freshman, 6'2", guard. He's going to get a little bit of action here, and the coach has, has to have a lot of confidence right now with this type of a game to put a freshman in. Eubanks delivers again with the free throw. Cuts this lead down to two. Baseline drive, and that's blocked. Eubanks putting his stamp on the game. Nice drive by Cody. Couldn't bring that down. Eubanks, a night kick out, grabbing that rebound. Back the other way, Eubanks with another block. Not in his house. Eubanks is not having it tonight, I can tell you right now. Anything that's going down the lane is being contested. Eubanks, the big fella, is not, he came to play tonight. He's not playing. He's real serious. When you get inside the lane, the paint, that's his territory. And he's making sure you know he's down there. Both these teams back and forth, JR, loving this game.
two point game pushing down to two minutes in the third quarter. That's right, JR. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter, and this game's tightened up quite a bit. Got ourselves a two point game. Could go any way, just like we thought. This is going down to the wire. Eubanks out. Take a breather, grab a little bit of water, and get ready for the fourth quarter. The Raiders working the ball around outside in their motion offense. The freshman outside handling the ball over to Ayala. Starr has it back on top. He's looking for a pick. Starts the offense back up again. Nice defense there by Clackamas. Three-point shot off. Rebound. And we're going to have a call here. That's on 25. O'Brien with the foul over the back. Ball underneath. The Raiders with a chance to run their out of bounds play and see if they can get a quick hit and play. They just kick it out to Ayala and they work it around the perimeter. That's May, the freshman, handling the ball outside. He's looking for the high pick. Star comes across. He uses the pick. Unable to get any room. Nice, though. Was that a move? That's another big boy move. Star with the left-handed finish down the lane and one. And that's what his coach said. He said, this guy is nothing but energy. He attacks the rim, and he's not afraid. And you saw that on that play as he was able to get to the lane and to the bucket and finish with the left hand and get the free throw. He took that home. Nice looking free throw, and that counts. And we're right even again, JR. They pull up 46 46 here with a minute to go. And that was Clackamas trying to attack early on the secondary break, stepping out of bounds. Gonzalez, beautiful baseline move, just uh, touched the line a wee tad. That's right, Elijah Speedy Gonzalez, a little bit too quick for his own good, stepped out of bounds. I like that, Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> We've heard of Speedy Gonzalez before, and I'll tell you, this guy is definitely Speedy Gonzalez. As far as we're concerned, it's Elijah Speedy Gonzalez. That's his new name, brother. Enjoyable player to watch, enjoyable player to watch. And he can go either way, uh, JR, left hand, right hand. This kid can dribble mad, mad quickness. Foul underneath, ball out to the Raiders. Got a new ball player in for Clackamas, number 32, Montario Spears. Good looking, good looking player there. Looks like he's a pretty strong kid. Maybe has some football in his background. There's a freshman driving down the lane, and they pick him. Jordan May with the turnover, back the other way, and we're going to have a call on this end of the on this end of the court. The referees talk it over. They're going to call that a jump. It looks like. Now they talk it over. I don't know. That was a pretty tough call. From our vantage point, I would have to say uh, that ball should go over to the Reynolds Raiders, but they're going to jump it up. And we're going to have a timeout here. No, we're going to stay right here. And like I said, that ball's going to stay with the Reynolds Raiders. Clackamas with some token pressure. Baseline drive by the Raiders. They get it into their big man. He's going to challenge, and he scores. Eubanks, that was 6-8 against 6-8 right there, buddy. Eubanks come on, comes out on top. Five seconds to go. Shake and bake. No good. Nice looking shake and bake there by Mitchell Fink, but he was unable to hit the free throw line jumper. And I'll tell you, we got ourselves a good one, buddy. 48 for the Raiders, 46 for the Cavaliers. 
nice competitive Mount Hood basketball action, and we'll be right back with more. So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. All right, and we are back here at Reynolds High School, out here in Gresham, way, way out here in Gresham, home of the Reynolds Raiders, where they've able to actually take the lead by two. They're up 48 to 46 over the visiting Clackamas Cavaliers. JR? Looks like it's going to be quite a fourth quarter. That it is. 48 46, eight minutes to go. Your guess is as good as mine. I'll tell you, buddy, you can't ask for a better high school game and no better way to spend a Friday night and to watch these young athletes get up and down the court and really compete. And uh, all I can say is look out for the rest of the league. These two teams are here and they're ready. And of course, welcome Clackamas Cavaliers to the Mounted Conference. Dribble dive down the lane. Unable to hit that jump shot, he came up short. But they're able to finish there. Back the other way, the freshman off with that jump shot. They go inside to their big man, see if he can deliver, and he does. Eubanks. That's how you make it happen. That's right, buddy. Enforce your will, make them foul you. If they don't, make them pay. Cavaliers with the ball off his leg. Oh, They're going to get a kick ball out there. Do you see that? you see that? What's the call? Oh, my. <laughs> And they're going to call a foul Reynolds, on that play. Reynolds took off from the ball and Clackamas. A little hand grab on the back of the jersey and the material stretched out about 13 inches. Yeah. Moot point. <laughs> well, they call that a clear They call that a clear path foul in the NBA. They usually give you the free throws and the ball because that was definitely a sure two points for the Raiders. We have the freshman at the line, Jordan May. He hits the first of his free throws. And I'll tell you, the kid's having a pretty good game as a freshman. He doesn't seem like he's too afraid, too intimidated. Just one turnover. Finishes with a couple free throws. Gives his team a lead. 48-52, seven minutes to go, fourth quarter. Long jump shot, and that's good. Elijah Speedy Gonzalez with the three. The uh -huh. dagger three. You couldn't stand it, could you? <laughs> I oh, had his hand. That's my man, Speedy. Showing you that he's got versatility in his game. He can shoot the three, and he can take it down the lane against the big boys. We got a foul here. And I'll tell you, the coaches, the coaches are getting a little bit mouthy. They're not liking some of these calls, JR. One point game, testosterone is starting to <laughs> activate itself. Yeah. You know, as we get closer down the stretch here, every call is going to really be important. These teams are going to have to play defense. Neither team in the one and one yet. And we've got a technical, JR. You know what I find exciting is to see Eubanks and Gonzalez standing side by side. <laughs> Different talent, but equally talented. Oh, yeah, in their own rights. Two different players, but boy, that shows you what big is in this league. Two nice sized kids, both with different uh, skill sets and both able to deliver, to deliver for their teams. So that was the technical on both teams. And they're going to give them a chance to kind of relax here and work and work it out. Both coaches off the bench looking a little perplexed. Oh, 
Coach Ted Aubin, head coach for Reynolds, bringing his two point guards over to discuss strategy and make sure they're ready here. We've got a two point lead and they know they need to take care of the ball. Both these, both these guys are young and so Ball security, all important. Alec Baldridge actually is a junior, so he has a little bit more experience than the freshman. That looked like a travel up top. He got away with one, almost a backcourt. Gonzalez with a sweet no-look dish inside. Gonzalez with the answer. Nice looking pass there by the young man. Oh, they're going to keep that on this end. Yeah, they are. That's going to stay here. And I tell you, I cannot believe it, man. Elijah Gonzalez is a freshman point guard for Clackamas, and he's having himself the game of his life, really. We have a timeout here on the court. We're here in the third quarter, and we'll be back. Reynolds High School, more action. It's not his new group of friends. It's not the video games. It's not the neighborhood. Mom, do I have to go to school today? The biggest threat to your child's future could be you. Every day they miss, even in middle school, puts their graduation at risk. And we're back here at Reynolds High School, home of the Raiders, with the visiting Clackamas Cavaliers down by one, 53-54. Raiders looking pretty good, JR. They were down by 10, and they've cut into this lead and actually took the lead. They're up by one, probably feeling pretty good about themselves, but by no means are they out of the woods. This game is not over. Oh, no, it is not. Reynolds with the ball underneath their own basket, taking it out. Running their out-of-bounds play. Nice look, no-look pass by Cody Starr. He finds his teammate there, number 24, Shindrick Jasrari. Gonzalez has it up top, and I was misspoke earlier. He's got a turnover right there. Now that's a freshman with the finish, Jordan May. Gonzalez actually is a sophomore. I certainly thought he was a freshman, but he doesn't play like one. And that ball's out of bounds. Who's he going to go to? Well, Dominic Scoopine took that one to the house for Reynolds. <laughs> And uh, they've all of a sudden jumped to a five-point lead. And they're going to keep the ball here down on this end. Clackamas got lucky on that call. Ball out underneath. Out of bounds play. Jump shot off. Rebounded over to the Raiders. Mitchell Fink with the uh, miss on that play. He's kind of cooled off here in the second half. Starr has it out there on the, on the wing. Nice fake inside. They move the ball around. The freshman May over to Starr. Starr inside. And we're going to have an offensive foul. And you saw that one coming. Yep, yep. Kalakamas have position. Nice defensive play there by Emir Kachekaman. Yeah, Gunderson was planted. And I know that name was wrong, but we're doing our best here with these names. We'll just call him Emir. You have a wet spot here on the, on the floor and they're trying to wipe it up with their feet. Our score right now is 58 Reynolds, 53 Clackamas with five minutes to go in the game. Anybody's game still. Clackamas with the ball, moving up court. Running their offense, nice spin move inside with the dish and the dime. That's my boy right there, Mitchell Fink. That was big time stuff. Sweet dime on that play. 
Reynolds working the ball outside. Looking to go inside to their big man. They close it off. He kicks it out for the jump shot. That's no good. Yeah. It looks like we're going to have a push right here, and we are going to have a... Wait a minute. That ball's going to stay here. I thought that was a push. They're going to call out of bounds. The Raiders are going to keep the ball. They get their big man back in the game, Eubanks. Ayala to the bench to get some rest. They're working around the perimeter. Star has it looking inside to his bread and butter. And they get a foul down on the block before the, before the shot goes off. There was nothing really JR he could do except foul right down there. When you get a 6'8 post player with that kind of talent, what can you do? Two nothing. feet away from the basket. <laughs> like you said, nothing. <laughs> I said, go ahead. <laughs> That's right. And the big man delivers. Nice soft touch. The Cavaliers don't waste too much time in getting their big man back in the game. O'Brien. Basketball had a nose, bounced a couple of times and fell through. Yep. One of those crowd pleasers. Got a five-point lead with four minutes to go here and a tight one. And we got a turnover here by Clackamas. Raiders off and running. Starring Gonzalez, one-on-one. -on -one. Star inside, no good. That's off out of bounds. Tough, to tough drop. drive. <laughs> Could not get that to go in. Definitely, that was close. And we're gonna get free throws. Star able to draw the contact. Trying to add to this five point lead with four minutes to go. And that one's off. And I tell you, talking to, talking to the uh, coach Ted Aubin here earlier, before the game, he was really worried about the way they would come out, and they did come out a little lackadaisical, but it looks like they found their rhythm in their game. They got themselves a six-point lead right here with four minutes to go. Yeah, Coach Alman uh, grew up out in Sandy, graduated from Sandy. Yeah. Spent several years in Bend, came this year uh, from Bend, and uh, stepped into a great program, great school. Yeah. I look for a lot of good things in the future from all of them. Well, there was a nice jump shot baseline there by Clackamas. That was number 11, Drew Conway, the 6'2 senior, able to ring one up. Start with the drive and dish. Eubanks with the stop and go and the finish. 63-57. We got a close one. There's a turnover. The freshman out on the break, he's running. Nice shot there, Jordan May. 6'2 freshman guard, making a difference in this game. Reynolds with the pressure, they had one turnover, trying to come up with another one. That clock is ticking, we're down to three minutes to go. Nice baseline drive, and Eubanks not gonna have any of that. Nice rejection by the big fella. And we're gonna have a timeout here in a highly hard contested game here. Reynolds High School, 65 for Reynolds, 57. Clackamas will be right back with more high school basketball action. Lead paint poisoning affects one million children today. If you're pregnant or have young children and your home was built before 1978, you could be at risk. Learn how to protect your family. To find your home's danger zones, the health effects, or just to find help, log on to leadfreekids.org. And we are back here. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, buddy. With one of the most, I don't know, I have to say the best game we've done so far this season. 
with the Reynolds Raiders up 65 to 57 over the visiting Clackamas Cavaliers. And right now, this game can go any either way. It's anybody's game, and that's what you want to see with three minutes to go down the stretch. It's just who really executes is going to come out with the win right here and who plays defense. And we can tell you right now, Eubanks made a statement with that last block. He's here to play defense and shut down the middle against Clackamas, and he's done so in the second half. That's why they're ahead, Jr. Well, with an eight-point lead, uh, just under three minutes to go before the end of the game. Ball control, they could put the hammer on this one. Oh, and there's a step back shot. He's not scared. That was a nice looking jump shot there. Bo Gunnison with the answer over the big man. And of course, Clackamas come out with their pressure defense right down the middle. That shot was blocked. And the ball goes over to I mean over to Clackamas. That jump shot's off. That was an air ball. Well, the six-point lead uh, by Reynolds. Uh, Gonzalez was able to get the ball down. May not have been a good shot with just a six-point lead. That's right. There's a lob pass, and that was out of a off of, out of bounds play. Sweet, sweet lob pass by Cole Anderson to his big man who finished with the emphatic dunk, and they're off to the races. Nice defensive play by Gonzalez. Unable to pick up the loose ball. Riddle scores again on the break. They got a 10-point lead, JR, with two minutes to go. Things that are looking. Tough to follow. It is tough to follow up with that one. The crowd is into it, boy, and they are excited. Nice long jump shot, and the answer. Woo! -hoo -hoo. That was Bo Gunderson, and he definitely has range. There's a steal right there. Just when we thought they were out of it, they come up with a steal in the three-pointer. Gunderson with another three, and that's off. Looked like he may have been fouled on that three-point shot. The referee didn't see it. And we got a call right here. And that foul is going to go against number 11, Drew Conway. It's going to send the Raiders to the line, and the freshman again making himself, making himself known, Jordan May. Getting a lot of action here in the second half. See, can he knock these free throws down, Javar? And he can't. These are pressure free throws right now. He's got a second one coming up here. And he misses two pressure free throws, Jr. But unbelievably, and they dodged a bullet right there. Clackamas looked like that ball went off of them, but they get I the ball back. A, I think it was the right call. It was the right call. It was the right call. You got 125 to go, though. 62-69, the Raiders up. Clackamas definitely needs a basket here. Smart play there. They drive the ball to the basket, and they're going to get free throws and get a chance to stop the clock. They're not going to get free throws. Ball out on the, underneath. Step back jump shot. I don't know if that was a two or three, JR. But I'll tell you, this kid, Bo Gunderson, he's got a sweet jumper and he's not afraid to shoot it. He's been the go-to guy. He's put the ball in when he had to. He really has here in the second half. They're trying to work the ball, take some time off the clock, because the clock is their friend right now. Clackham is trying to foul, and they do. And they, they're going to send the freshman back to the line and see if he can hit another two free throws. Jordan May, unable to connect on the last two free throws. They certainly need these two. You only got a five-point lead right here. This could ice the game if you can just get one of them. There he goes. There you go. That makes it a two-possession game. 64-70, the Raiders up. <clears throat> Takes a deep breath, lines it up. 
Yes. Yes. That one counts. Two pressure free throws by the freshman. And we're going to have a timeout here on the court with the Raiders up 71-64 over the Cavaliers. Be right back. Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. And we're back here at Reynolds High School, home of the Raiders, where they have a slight lead over the visiting Clackamas Cavaliers, JR 64-71. And I have to really forgive myself here because I keep telling everybody Jordan May is a freshman. He's actually a sophomore playing like a senior. Playing like a senior, yes. You took Having the words a great right out of game. My mouth. <laughs> well, we only have a minute to go here. 7 point lead. Clackamas with the ball. They drive down the lane. Nice layup there. They're able to score. Mitchell Fink. Just don't know if they have enough time on the clock. That was a great move by Fink. That was a beautiful move down the lane by Fink. Just trying to get the old-fashioned three-point play. Yeah. We're going to get Eubanks, okay? He's our player of the game. We're definitely going to have to... And that shot's off. And as I mentioned to JR, Eubanks having himself quite a game. Could possibly be our player of the game. Long jump shot, no good. That one's no good, the block shot. Gonzalez has it up top. We're down to 22 seconds. They're working around the perimeter. They got to get a shot up, JR. Gonzalez down the lane. That was contested by the big fella. And it looks like they're going to have a foul here. Cody Starr is going to get free throws. And I'll tell you, Reynolds dodged a bullet, buddy. They dodged a bullet tonight. They had a game, game. Clackamas Cavalier team, they came out unintimidated, unafraid, and uh, put on a pretty good performance tonight on the road, but looks like they're not going to be able to come up with the win, JR. Excellent performance. Star with another free throw. Pushes the Raiders score up to 72. And he hits another free throw. 66-73. And Eubanks definitely puts his handprint, not footprint, on this game with another block, buddy. And that's it. And the fans, the fans rush the court. They're loving it here at Reynolds High School. They come up with the win in a highly contested Mount Hood Conference game. You can't ask for more, JR. Both teams played their hearts out. Just not enough, not enough time, and not enough shots there for Clackamas to finish this game off. And they come away with a tough loss here at Reynolds High School. I ex extend plaudits to all the young men on both teams. Yeah. Wonderful evening, great game. It's hard to pick an MVP. But I think you got to swing toward Eubanks. Yeah, Eubanks had himself quite a, quite a game, and we're going to see if we can catch up with the young man. We're going to take a quick break here and come back with more action here after the game here at Reynolds High School. 
When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified. Not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who take action are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making home affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. Let's catch them before it's too late. To start helping students in your community, visit boostup.org. You're on your way to meet up with friends, but you can't seem to get anywhere quickly. You don't want your friends to be annoyed, so you text. You're on your way. Five seconds is the average time your eyes are off the road while texting while driving. Make sure you get where you're going. And we're back here at Reynolds High School, home of the Raiders. Great action here in the Malden Conference. You couldn't ask for a better game. Um, we're right, right now, we're trying to grab the primetime prep player of the game, Mr. Drew Eubanks had quite an impact on this game. The 6'10 senior post player really came to play tonight, and actually both teams came to play tonight. You couldn't ask for a better uh, high school basketball game, and just happy that I was able to cover this game. It was an up-and-down game. Uh, the first half saw Clackamas actually jump out to a 10-point lead. They were hitting on all cylinders. They had their version of the Lob City going. They had three or four monster dunks, as did um, the Reynolds Raiders. And you expect that out of Reynolds. We know the big man, 6'10", Drew Eubanks. He comes to play, and he's a dominant player, maybe up for player of the year in the Mount Hood Conference this year. And he led his team tonight to the big win, the home win. And they needed one because they came off of a tough loss. And we know they were looking to rebound and get back in the win column. And they did it in an emphatic way. Nice win for uh, for the Clackamas Cavaliers. I mean, excuse me, for the Reynolds Raiders. And yeah, we see the kid. He's going to be coming out here in a couple minutes. We're going to take a quick break and see if we can get a quick interview with our player of the game tonight, Drew Eubanks. Be right back. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. In 1977, an eight-year-old boy picked up the game of golf from his father. The odds of that same boy then making it to the U.S. and European pro golf tours, one in seven million. The odds of the Big Easy winning the U.S. Open twice, one in 1.2 billion. The odds of him having a child diagnosed with autism, one in 88. Ernie Els encourages you to learn the signs of autism. Every day, kids witness bullying. Why are you stabbing me with it? No, no. They want to help, Ow. but don't know how. Oh, you got Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov.
A full life measured in seats starts with the right ones early on. Car crashes are the number one killer of children 1 through 13. Learn how to prevent deaths and injuries by using the right car seat for your child's age and size. And we are back here at Reynolds High School, home of the Raiders, and an unbelievable Friday night basketball game. And I have with me our primetime player of the game, Drew Eubanks. Drew, welcome, buddy. Thank you for having All me. All right, good game, man. I was so impressed by the way your team came out and uh, you didn't get down because it was a rough start. You guys had both dunks, multiple dunks on both sides. And I'll tell you, I haven't seen a high school player in years play the way you did and dominate a game. How did you feel how you played today offensively? I felt like I played great, and my teammates helped me out a lot by getting me the ball in the place where I could do the most damage. Um, guards just fed me the ball, and I just went to work like uh, they just put me in a good position <laughs> to go. I hear you. Well, it's hard to miss you with your height, but you know, your coach told me you guys face double and triple teams all the time, and I have to say that your your players are really patient and they work the ball around. Tell me about your players, Cody Starr. I mean, you, you got a, a, a coast of great players playing with you. How did you feel how they stepped up tonight? Oh, everybody played good. This was a good team win. Cody's just a competitor uh, at the end of the day. He, he always wants to win no matter how good he does or what his personal stats are. He just wants to win, and you can tell out there the way he plays. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Clackamas, did they surprise you the way they came out? Because I don't know. I know they came off of a loss, but it seemed like they were really ready for you guys tonight. Yeah, they, they came out strong, but I think we just came out stronger. Like, Well, not, we're not in the first half, but second half after we were down, we knew like if we wanted to win, and turn our, se our conference season around. We had to get this W at the end of the day. That's just what we did. Well, you know, you have to win at home. You have to protect home court. You know that. And as a young man, you know, you're a senior this year. This is your time to shine. And it's great to see that your other players stepped up and were patient and got you the ball. Because for a while, when you got down, it looked like you guys you got a little discouraged, but you came back. And I like to see that in players. And all I can say is that was one heck of a game. I really haven't seen a high school game like that. What do you think about the road coming up here with your, your next few games coming up? Who are you looking forward to playing against? Who do you have to beat? Uh, we have to beat Barlow, for sure. They're always tough. We Every time we played in the past few years, we've always struggled playing them. Uh, we beat them once last year and then lost on our senior night last year. So that's going to be a really tough game because they're always good. Uh, Oregon City, we're trying to get back at them. We let it slip away at the very end on our home court um, a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I think this is the turning stone in our season right here. It could here. be a turning point. And I know you guys have to go on the road against Central. You got to go on the road against Douglas too, don't you? Or you have a home game? No, against? we have home games against those two. Okay, well that should bode well for you guys because I tell you, you, this gym, the energy and the people, they love you here. You got a great <laughs> home, ten, I mean, home uh, court advantage and so, uh, I know you're going to have some tough games on the road, but it's nothing like playing a game here, I'm sure. So mm, no. the, the fans, fans were really great. behind. Yeah, they yeah. are. They were really great, and it was good action. Um, as far as the next level, what do you think? Uh, I, I'm really I'm really ready to go uh, to Oregon <laughs> State. Like, I, I wanted to finish out this year strong, but I'm just excited for what Coach Tinkle's been doing, Co Coach of the Year as far as I'm concerned. New coach? I, yeah. I mean, God, you got to love that. Yeah, he's doing great down there. I think they're like – 12 and 5. They just beat UCLA last night. Beat Arizona a few weeks ago. Yeah. They're just doing. I'm. I'm really excited. To go so down you're looking there. to go to OSU, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna look for you on the next level. And um, all I can say is, it was fun watching you guys. It was a great game. And uh, for a new team coming into the conference, Clackamas really gave you guys all you can handle. Mm -hmm. But you guys came out with the win. So good luck in the future. Good luck in the league. And we'll look forward to seeing this young man. You will be hearing his name. He will be playing on the next level and probably in the NBA, no doubt. All right. Thank you. All right, buddy. All right, Keith. And there, that's uh, our interview here at halftime, excuse me, at the end of the game here at Reynolds High School. We want to uh, take a minute here and take a break, and we'll be back to close it up. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov.
So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. All right, and we are back to close this one out in one of the most competitive, exciting Mountain Hood Conference games we've covered in the last three years since I've been doing this. Uh, great young man there, Drew Eubanks, with a great, bright future. And uh, we look for more out of Reynolds. Um, JR, what do you think, Reynolds High School? I think the game spoke for itself. I think the big man did his job. The rest of the players did what they were supposed to do. Reynolds pulled that out. Very impressive. I didn't see any weak spots at all on either team. Well, I'll tell you, Clackamas has nothing to be ashamed of. Those guys came out. Uh, they're new to the conference, and they're seeing these teams, a lot of these guys, for the first time, you know, on their go around here. And they played their hearts out. And it's tough to have a loss like that when you're up in the first half. But you know, there's two halves to a game. And so you got to finish. And I'll tell you, Reynolds did finish emphatically. Drew Eubanks, multiple dunks, multiple blocks. Probably the player of the year, maybe the high school player of the year, definitely the Mount Hood Conference player of the year. He's going to be up for that. And so we just look forward to getting back and uh, covering these games and covering the, the, the most competitive conference in Oregon, the Mount Hood Conference. It was a great game. It was. I've had a ball tonight. It was wonderful being able to bring this to the folks out there on behalf of uh, Metro East Community Media, thank you for allowing Metro to come into your home here at Reynolds to the parents, the staff, especially the players and the coaches. Been wonderful for us, great experience. And we also want to thank um, both teams, the players, the coaches, the teachers, athletic directors, everyone who really goes into making high school sports what it is. It's a lot of commitment, a lot of long hours, and uh, like I said, for us, this is the fun part. We cover the games, we watch the kids compete, and um, hopefully some of them move on to the next level, but most of them really learn and grow, and uh, high school sports is what it's all about. So we will say good night from the gateway to the beautiful Columbia Gorge from Reynolds High School here in Troutdale, and we'll see you on the next go-around next Friday.